Hey, how's it going? We are back making YouTube videos. Let's go. I did not die, did. Not that anyone asked. Sag. Uh, but yeah, you might have noticed I've been gone for a couple of weeks. That's mainly because uh, I've been working on a lot of stuff in the background. I'm getting the platform ready to be released, which is really exciting by the end of this year. I've also been doing some work with Google, which is pretty cool. And uh, the baby, got a baby. He's four months old now. It's so crazy. He's like every week he's unlocking a new skill. Uh, he recently started making this noise. He's like, Ugh, uh, insane. Uh, but I really wanted to make an episode here talking about kind of my experience with AI. Um, cause I feel str really strongly about it. Now I've been a developer for 10 years now, and I can only think back of two instances where I experienced heavy burnout. One of those instances was quite unrelated to, um, programming. It was, I was just simply moving to another country and getting all that paperwork done, uh, is, is, you know, quite complicated and it's quite stressful. So I ended up taking a couple of months break then, uh, but I came back to coding perfectly fine. The second instance uh, was about a year and a half ago when I started heavily relying on AI tools and creating workflows around AI tools. Uh, so let's talk about it. Now, when I talk about AI, uh, I'm going to narrow it down. We need to narrow it down to code generation, uh, image generation, video generation, kind of that sort of category. I think in the long run, AI could be really beneficial, you know, in other fields, that's where I feel like it's more exciting in like the medical field, you know, finding cancer treatments, uh, you know, robotics as well. We're just naturally going to move in a direction when people are going to have their underwears cleaned by, by robots, you know, and they're going to shag clankers. It's just the future. Uh, but when it actually comes to using it to code, uh, my experience just hasn't been as good. Uh, and we'll see if other people agree here or not. Initially, when I started using AI models, the experience felt really magical. Whoa, it just generated the whole code. But as more and more time went on, just realize this whole experience and workflow just the feels like some low aura bullshit. Like, does anyone actually genuinely enjoy working like this? I got into programming because I like to solve problems. When you actually build something, you get the satisfying feeling like, yeah, there it is. I know how it works as well. It's great. Now it feels like I'm just arguing with this bloody clanker. Do this, do this. You're absolutely right. No, you're not. Who's right? I don't even know who's right anymore because it's bullshit. Every code, I can literally tell the AI model and, and like gaslight it in anything I want and it'll just agree with me. So the whole experience of, of writing out a prompt, waiting on a response, getting that code back, having to review that code, and then going through that process four or five times is probably the like least enjoyable way I programmed in all my life. Now, let me give credit where credit is due. I feel like eventually you will find kind of the knacks around where it works really well. And I can show you examples where it does work really well. Uh, for example, generating skeleton pages. Once you have a page ready like this, right? And then you want to kind of get the skeleton for this. I don't have to manually do that anymore, right? Or, or this page here, if I refresh, did you see that skeleton? I'm so happy I don't need to do that anymore. And I can just let AI uh, create that in maybe like 30 seconds works really, really good in that scenario. Also, I had another scenario where I have like these coding challenges, so it needs to follow like a specific schema uh, and specific rules. Uh, it does really great there. That would take me a lot of manual time uh, to actually write that out. And some instances where I also have to write documentation that's been working there. But anything other than that, if I want to create something creative, if I want to implement a new feature, it just fails miserably, no matter how much I prompt it. At a point, it does work out if you know the right questions and prompts to ask. But at that point, I'm like, well, I could just build that shit out myself. Let me give you an example. I have a comment section that I've been building out. Now that comment section needs to have a reply, be able to reply to it, right? And I asked AI basically to do that for me. Um, so I need basically a way to 
basically an action, right? Like a server action uh, to add that comment. Now, when you do the reply, you can essentially reuse the same function, but kind of just adjust the parameters a little bit. And AI just seems to do it in the most inefficient way possible. It, it literally creates two separate functions that are pretty much identical, where it could have been one function with a slightly adjusted uh, parameter. And it's like, then you tell it, hey, we could have done it this way. And then it just tells you that you're right. And it's just like, well, fuck you. Like, honestly, so infuriating. Here's also one thing that I really don't understand. I've seen people use multiple agents modifying multiple different files. Now, I don't know about you, but my code base is getting pretty big. And even using it on one file, one at a time, I felt like after a couple of weeks, I started like losing context and understanding how my system works. Because I, at the end of the day, you keep rewriting the same files over and doing these big modifications. And I just don't know what's in w what file anymore in a way. I cannot even imagine if you start using multiple agents to modify multiple different files. You're just going to end up with a code base that you'd have to like, like reanalyze and figure out again. And I, I, I honestly think that slows you down so, so much. And maybe it's a bit different from cursor. I'm not sure. I've been mainly using it in the terminal. And basically when you're using Claude code in the terminal, Gemini CLI or whatever, uh, you get a snapshot of the file. But once you keep doing the modifications over and over again, like you don't even know how that file looks like anymore. How does the code even look in there? So like I told you, I've been experiencing this huge burnout to a point where I felt like I'm not even enjoying this anymore and I don't even want to code anymore. And then I decided to not use it at all. Uh, maybe for like skeleton generation and stuff like that, but cut it off almost completely. I can't believe how quickly I felt much better uh, about coding in general. I felt like I was learning again. I feel like I was picking up new stuff that I didn't understand. And I feel like all of that is being lost uh, with these AI tools. Not to mention, I'm not sure how I feel about the bias that these AI tools have to specific tooling. Yet yeah, React is great, uh, but since these models are mainly trained on React and Tailwind, I wonder what's gonna happen with, you know, the evolution of the web in general, uh, because they're going to be really good at React code, but they're not going to be good at any other frameworks out there. And I think that's not necessarily a good positive, not to mention you people that might want to get into development are automatically going to be nudged towards what's, what's it most popularly trained on, right? And I, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I think there needs to be a good balance anyway with new tools coming out. But I guess you could also argue that the ecosystem is going to mature this way because we're going to rely more on one specific framework and the tooling is going to get better around it. I don't know. What genuinely worries me is people don't want to learn anymore. I saw comments on my YouTube channel saying that CSS is not worth learning anymore because of AI. That's crazy to me. That's considering... I don't know which we can use any model out there and the design that they're going to generate this is absolutely crap. I just like having that purple background and the same kind of look and feel to them. Uh, not needing to learn CSS is just a crazy wild statement to me. Uh, and then the creativity portion as well, right? All this is trained on other previous code. Uh, where is going to be the uniqueness? Is every website going to look like the same slop? Uh, that worries me a little bit. Uh, that was kind of fun in the earlier, like before the AI boom, uh, was that even if websites kind of looked crappy, at least they kind of had their own look look to it, you know, and their own personality. And it just worries me that it's all going to be the same tailwind looking website. What also worries me is junior developers. If you want to get into programming now, companies are not really hiring. They're kind of on a standby uh, because they think, okay, well, AI can kind of get to the same level as a junior developer. Uh, okay, but then who is going to get into the field now if, if we exclude all of these people? There, there's literally not going to be enough people to get into a position where they can learn and become senior developers. 
I honestly feel like, are we going to have a big gap in the next five, 10 years? Because the senior developers are going to end up retiring sooner or later. Who's going to fill that position? And even the people that do get into the field now, I feel like if they rely too much on AI, how much are they really going to understand the intricacies of the web? Because my God, web development can be really, really complicated because there's so many edge cases to consider, right? You have to keep accessibility in mind. You have to keep um, different browsers and how they behave, right? If you've been in the field for long, you know certain features and certain bugs. And not only that, even like architecting and writing nice, clean and reusable code that scales really well. I never seen AI really care about dry principle in general. Uh, so I, I, every time I wrote features with AI, I ended up refactoring them uh, because I didn't feel like the code that was written was scalable. And that's the thing, it works. The AI code does work, but how is that going to look when we have a hundred different pages uh, with a hundred different components? You know, am I just going to create a technical depth or not? And from what I've seen, it does. And I just don't see a position where AI can also improve that much because unfortunately, there's so much slop and AI generated content getting put up on the internet. Where do you think the next model is gonna get trained on? The internet is gonna basically take all that same synthetic AI generated response and get retrained on that. And I wonder if, GPT-5 is the reason why it doesn't even feel like that that much better uh, to the previous version uh, is because of all the synthetic data. What's even crazier to me is that hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars went into these AI investments, right? All the big companies are racing to be on the top and it doesn't seem to make the internet a better place. What are we actually left with? AI articles and inundated with random AI video slop. Like, is that how the internet's gonna look like? Cause that would be really, really sad. So yeah, I guess I'm just a bit worried about the future uh, of how the web development platform is gonna look. Um, you know, if, if we're just gonna have the same slop looking websites all over the place. And even like people that get into the field now, uh, if they rely on AI to learn, if they're even gonna get the correct information, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I guess time is going to tell, but I've been feeling happier than ever, uh, just kind of coding myself. So let me know how you feel. I'm really interested to hearing your thoughts and yeah, we are back on the YouTube. Drop a little subscribe, a little like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.